Mm, they just, look, oh my gosh, look, oh my gosh. Look at this. Look, this was their choice. This was their choice. That's what I'm saying. You could be with this dark witch or you could be with this empress that controls both the dark and light. Hello. They had a choice and they chose the dark one. Not even realizing that it was all an illusion. There you have it. And that, here's the tower moment. Boom. Now seeing it. You got played. You missed your blessing. Hey guys, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. So I'm going to be doing your general reading. Please keep in mind that this is general. So this may not resonate with everyone. Some pieces could be your story and some pieces could be someone else's story that's watching. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We got here salty, mad, and upset. There is a female that is mad with you, Cancers. There's someone that's upset. Uh, yep, yeah, look at here, a distorted feminine. It says fear of conflict, hypersensitive rejection of rationality. So this is someone that's delusional. They, whatever view this person has of you is not is not rational. I'm seeing here eavesdropping. This person may be eavesdropping on you or they're eavesdropping on someone that's dealing with you. They're trying to um, find or, or maybe they heard something about you. It's like somebody is trying to get information on you. A, per, a peeping Tom looking over someone's shoulder, listening to your private conversations. Someone could be listening to your private conversations. Whoever this female is, they're a distorted female and they're mad with you. And again, it could be a, someone that's close to you, that's been trying to get close to you and get information on you, trying to hear what you're saying to maybe try to use it against you. It can also be someone that you're dealing with who's dealing with a salty female and this salty female has some sort of view about you that's not accurate. That's what I'm definitely getting here. It's like whatever they heard or whatever they, whatever they think they heard about you is not accurate. This person's mind is distorted. It's, it's like they're, they're, they're looking to hate you is what I'm getting here. This person is trying to find a reason to hate you. I don't even feel like you personally did anything to this person, but yet they hate you, yet they don't like you. And they may not like you because of how someone else is feeling about you, how someone else views you. But it's just like they're not rational, whoever this person is. They're an irrational person making things up in their mind about you that's not even true. We got here, yes, you're, I feel like here, we got intelligent coming through. I feel like this intelligent card, I don't know, I don't think that that's you. Some, this Whoever this person is, they're playing some sort of game. Again, but, it's, but they're distorted. I feel like this person thinks that they're smart. What is this about? There's something going on here with this intelligent card. A legal issue. Toxic connection. And I'm seeing here, I feel like someone was playing some sort of game. This, I feel like this is the same person. And they're playing some sort of game that's causing a legal issue or a bad contract. This is a spiteful energy. Whoever this person, that's why it says salty, because this is a spiteful person. Some sort of legal situation is going on here or something to do with the contract. And it has to do with the toxic connection. 
that involves constant fighting. Hmm, let's see. There's some sort of legal issue going on that this person is either wrapped up in or will be wrapped up in. We have Earth Angel coming through. Someone's watching. And what I mean by someone, I'm talking about an angel. An angel is on Earth watching. They may show up in many different forms, whoever this earth angel is. Meaning that the, I feel like there is a, um, a angel that, like I say, shows up on earth, but they come, across, they come in different forms. It seems like they're watching this person though. This earth angel is someone that, that um, has very obviously honest intentions with earth angel. I'm, I'm, there's something going on here though. This, this is making me feel like there's something serious. We're going to let the story unfold, but I keep, there's something serious going on. What do, and, and I say that because this angel is here, is here on earth watching this, it's, it's like has been assigned to watch this situation. I don't feel like this distorted person knows this. And I'm gonna let it unfold. I'm still drawn to the earth angel, which is why they told me to put it there. There is something going on with this earth angel and as it pertains to who this distorted, salty, feminine is that think that they're smart, has a big ego. They, they did something not realizing they're going to catch a case for it. Self-love is coming through. This says here a hidden agenda. I feel like this person is going around I told you, I feel like there is something off with this person. They're going around acting. This may be someone that's being like a, a, a fake guru. You know what I'm saying? Like here, you see here how you have self-love, but then you have a hidden agenda. This is telling me that this person is putting on like this persona of, you know, love yourself. And, you know, it's like they're, it's, I feel like they're, they're, they're either like trying to pull people in to make it look like, you know, they know their deal, that they're intelligent. But they have some sort of a, a hidden agenda. This is where the, this quote unquote intelligence is coming in because this person is like a shapeshifter. They're really a distorted, salty person, but they're using their this this um, dark energy that they have to present this fake self-love image. And again, I feel like someone is like a fake guru trying to make people think that, oh, you know, like it's like they're preaching to people, but it's, 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 they're not living that life. They have a hidden agenda behind what they're doing. It says, pay attention to this person because they have other plans than the ones they've revealed. This is why you're being born. Because again, but there's an angel that's overseeing this. That's why I feel like you need to know this. There's an angel overseeing this person. I feel like this angel has been assigned to this person because of you. That's why I kept feeling drawn. And they said, they said to put this angel, like, you know, to showcase, put it up, upward so that it can be seen. Here, honest intention, kind-hearted, keeps it real. I feel like that's why this person has been assigned because of who you are. Because it says, I feel like they're telling me that the viewer who this message is for is someone that's good and pure with honest intentions. Because remember, this person has some bad intentions towards you and people in general, not just you. Just because I told you, I thought this is a fake guru. People in general. The, the, this angel has been, you know, came down here 
they're not going to stay forever, but they're here assigned to watch over this person as it pertains to you because you're kind hearted. You're someone that keeps it real. You're someone that has honest intentions. Crying over someone. And look, we got an ex lover. We're definitely in um, a really heavy karmic cycle. A lot of karmic energy has been coming through. Like people are dealing with karmic cycles. I'm giving here, um, I'm giving, okay. So yeah, here is nosy. So they, yeah, we got here um, a nosy ex-lover that's crying over someone. Whoever this nosy ex-lover is, um, this is someone that is affiliated with some sort of I don't know how to how to say this and which is probably why this angel is here because this person is affiliated with some sort of how do I say this to you guys the energy that I'm picking up is like a cult that's what I'm getting here like I feel like whoever this ex lover is they're involved in some sort of cult practice or an occult type practice that's just like, um, I feel like, you know, I, I have to say this. We live in a world of polarity because I, because like I said, we're in a heavy karmic cycle here. And there are some people that are doing things like um, how you may believe in God. There are people that believe in the devil as their God. And just because you don't believe that way or that's something that you wouldn't do with using, you know, um, dark things to help assist you on this earth, it doesn't mean that there are not other people that do that. Just as you can get a reading and wanting to talk to your light, light beings, you can get readings. There are readers that will, you know, read for you to talk to demonic beings. And I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, you need to understand that this is real and exists in the sense of just because you don't subscribe to it does not mean that there are not other people that don't subscribe to it. We already see this as someone that's distorted. I feel like this is someone that's reckless and does not care about what they have to lose. That's what I'm getting here with this person. And this angel has been sent to watch over this person to, I feel like, to make sure that whatever plans they try to enact upon you fail. Yeah, there's um they're asking. They're uh, Yeah, this person is really trying to find out about you. I feel like this is someone that you're dealing with um who is trying to find like I feel like an ex of yours or someone you're dealing with is trying to find out about you, but then there's someone that they're dealing with that's trying to find out about them and what they're doing. And this is why this is um, affecting you because of the person that you were dealing with and who they're not, who, who they've been dealing with. And this person that they've been dealing with is jealous of you. For some of you, this could even be family or a, a ex friend, this salty female. That's distorted. We got here a divine union coming through. Caught in the act. So I feel like this is interesting because I feel like whoever this salty person is, I feel as though, so um, I feel like whoever this distorted person is, I feel like they're um, in a same-sex relationship that they got caught in. They were caught having a, a secret same-sex relationship. I feel like with this distorted feminine, they go both ways. Like they deal with both sexes intimately. This person doesn't know who they are. They don't know what they want. I am really giving here like, um, mm -hmm. it's like a, um, a, dis 
just a dark energy that I'm picking up that I'm not. Yeah, look at here, controller. I really, I just did a reading previously talking about someone that has like some sort of mental problem. It keeps coming up in your reading. Someone is not receiving the message or maybe there are more people that need to hear the message because this is, this is, this is becoming a reoccurring thing talking about this particular person. They've been showing up a lot in the readings. Someone is not heeding the message and others are needing to hear the message and maybe being dismissive of it. This is someone that feels the need to control people, male and or female. And I told you they're a shapeshifter, they're a fraud. This person may have multiple personalities and they use people for what they can stand, they stand to gain. Look at this, digging for, for gold. This person attaches themselves to people based off of what they, what they stand to gain. So they'll probably be with one person for money. They'll probably be with another person for intimacy. Uh, you know, just based off of whatever. Like, they, they build relationships based off of what they get out of them. Not what they can give, but what they can get out of them. And they go into relationships with that in mind. They never go into a relationship with honest intentions. It's always, what you going to give me? A spirituality hater. Hates on your beliefs, not liking that you are untraditional, uncomfortable with your spirituality. This is someone that doesn't like you because of your spirituality. I told you, this is the person that's, if you believe in God, if you believe in angels, this person believes in the opposite. They don't like you because of your spirituality. And I'm seeing here, I feel like because you tend to manifest, you may use your, manif your spirituality to manifest. You may be someone that goes around talking about spirituality, trying to be helpful to other people. They don't like your energy. They don't like your light. This person does not like your light and they don't like your spirituality. They don't like your energy. They don't like that you can manifest. And you may not even have nothing and this person still does not like you because of what you stand for, because of what you believe in. That's why this, I need to know about this earth angel. Tell me about this earth angel. Because there, he keeps looking at me <laughs> like, when are you going to get to me? <laughs> Tell me about this earth angel. Why have they been assigned to watch over this um, distorted feminine? We got here a bestie coming in. One, one who is always by your side, who never ditches you. This is, this is, I told you this is your bestie, like your spiritual guide. For some of you, this could be a fake friend of yours. Or someone acting like a friend. But this earth angel is your bestie. Or someone that's very close to you spiritually. And watching this person for your best interest. What else for this earth angel? Low vibe. Because they know this person has low vibes. Bad energy. And that's what I'm saying. This message keeps occurring because it feels like. And yeah, because of your purpose. Yeah, it just feels like someone is not getting this. Because it's like, why are we constantly getting this energy? It's it's Because I am I feel this low vibe. That's why I'm getting, you know, a little bit frustrated with it. Because it keeps coming up. And I'm, I'm getting irritated with the reading for it. Because I don't know why. You know, it's fine that I'm reading for it. But I, I, I'm wondering why it keeps showing up. That's what I'm saying. Someone just not receiving it. Like... What is the deal? It says low vibrational person, energy that feels dark. That's that's what I'm saying. And that is what I'm channeling. Dense and heavy, harboring suffering, fear and anger. This is why they're watching this distorted feminine because they got low vibes and this person is trying to interfere with your purpose. See, off the grid. They're trying to keep you unhit. They're trying to keep you hidden from this person. That's why they are watching them. I feel like they're trying to keep this person from having contact with you. They're watching this person to protect you. They're monitoring this person to make sure they don't try to do anything to deter what you have been sent here to do.
because this person has it out for you for a, a distorted reason though. Not even because you directly did something to them intentionally, but because of who you are, because of what you stand for. Truth unveiled. The truth has been or will be. Your angel is saying that th this person, the truth is going to be unveiled, like publicly. So whatever it is that they're doing, it's going to come out in the public. And didn't I say a legal case? Like this, I told you, I feel like this person is going to, um, something is publicly is going to happen that's going to tarnish their reputation. They're not going to be able to hide. Because remember I told you this was like a fraud. They're not going to be able to hide behind that. Oh, self-love, you know, self-love this. Because they're, they're, they're trying to mimic you. And they're not going to be able to hide. They're going to catch a case for this, for the stuff that they've been doing being this fake guru and it doesn't even have to be like a like a, a, a physical legal case here in the 3d this is a, this could be a this is also a spiritual case this person is going to catch look they're they're going down the path that they were warned about they were what they told they were this person got warnings yeah, see, you, and here you are, a bystander, sitting back and watching it all happen, not standing up for someone being hurt or abused. I feel like you were an innocent bystander. And that's what I'm saying, like, why does this keep coming up? Because someone was not even aware of, the, of what was going on, because your angel is out here protecting. That's probably why someone has been having a hard time receiving the message, because they probably was not aware, because of the protection of this earth angel, this angel that has been specifically signed to tend to you. That's how important you are. Yep, see? Didn't even see it. Her eyes are closed. You didn't even see what was going on in the dark. This person acting a fool. You did not see it. They're toxic ways. This may even be someone you know, or again, someone that you're dealing with that's, that's, um, that knows this person. And they're coming after you because of who you're dealing with or who you dealt with in the past. We have here stalking yeah they've been stalking you and this is someone i feel like whose heart is broken we got heartbreaker someone got their heart broken this is a masculine energy stalking you though i feel like both of them have been um yeah there's someone else that's watching you as well oh look at here a distorted masculine look at that look at that caught in the act Remember we saw that union? So these are two people. That, these are two toxic people. Two toxic people that are together. Both of them have a hurting heart. So it looks like both of them have been watching you. Both the distorted feminine and the distorted masculine has been watching you. This distorted masculine caught this distorted feminine in the same sex relationship. Here goes the mental prison. Didn't I tell you that too? I told you guys that I kept feeling that. Like this is someone that has some sort of mental problem. Hmm. I don't know, I had to take a, a brief pause. All right, let's pull some tarot cards. Tell me about this truth that's being unveiled. And then I'm going to ask about the person that's stalking you. Yeah, see, a coven. I told you, didn't I? T I told you that. I told you guys that. Didn't I say a cult? Didn't I say, look at this picture. There is some sort of spiritual warfare going on here. There is some sort of battle that's happening. This is, a, this is happening not just to cancers, but this is one, like there is a spiritual battle that's going on here. And I told you, this person has chosen the side of evil. I told you, the truth is going to get unveiled. You're going to find out that this person was involved in some sort of cult. Look at them. Casting spells, doing black magic, but your angels have been blocking and protecting it. Look at how they've been fighting on your behalf. 
Whatever this person has been trying to send to you, they've been blocking it. You have, that's how important you are. That's how important your purpose is. They sent someone from above to come down specifically to watch this person. I just heard you bet not harm my child. You better not. This is, you got multiple deities. You got multiple light workers, guys, archangels protecting you. That's how important you are. And that's why you guys have not been able, someone has not been able to receive the message because they, they may be dismissing the things that may be happening because they don't see it, because they've been protected from it. And if anything has been allowed to happen, it's only been allowed to happen to get your attention so that you will wake up and see what's really going on and or to push you in a particular direction that they want you to go in. Look at here. See, here comes the tower moment. See, it's got it's Oh, look at that. Look at that. When the truth is unveiled, people are going to be surprised. This is a look at the look at the tower breaking. And look here. Here she is. Here she is. There she is being thrown out. This is divine intervention. Divine intervention. The truth, what is this truth being unveiled? That this person was in a cult with multiple other people doing dark, dark things to light workers, to empaths. The truth is going to be unveiled and you're going to be surprised by what was, what was being sent to harm you. That was, this person was blocking. These people were blocking. Going up against them on your behalf. We got the, I told you prison. Look at here. Hands tied. I told you someone is someone I feel like is going to get is going to go to jail. When this truth get unveiled, either um, either to a dark place prison or physically go to prison. Someone has been sentenced though, spiritually and physically. So in the physical world, this can show up by going to a literal jail. In the spiritual world, this could be going back to your your going back to down below or whatever. This is not, this is, I told you, this person has been sentenced. It's not going to end well for this person. There is someone else here. And like I said, the stalker, there's another person that's miserable. They have a low vibe. The person that's attached to them. It's like they have all these books. Look at all these books around them. You know what I'm getting here? And look at that. There are some potions around. This is this person that's been stalking you. There is some sort of other person stalking you. And they have a lot of knowledge. And they have a lot of... It's like they've been doing something too. I got to pull this out. And see, here it is again. More books. What is it with this information? There's something about some knowledge, something about they don't have access to you. That's what they're mad about. I feel like this person has been trying to read up on how to, you know, manifest you there. I feel like they, they've been attached to this person. They've been trying to use it's not they're not harmful, though. They're not trying to use anything harmful, but they have been trying to work effortlessly with reading and trying to get some knowledge and using their own manifestation um, abilities or their own, you know, practices to try to get you. But here is an X that's over you. Again, protection. They are mad because they don't have access to you. They may even try to come to you in your dreams because she's sleeping. But they don't, there's an X that marks the spot, meaning that whatever you're trying, whatever it is that you're doing is not working. And they know it because you have not contacted them. You have not reached out to them. They can feel that you have this block against them. They feel it and they're miserable about it. Yeah, see, they've been secret. They've been doing this in secrecy. 
reading a ton of books, studying, trying to figure out how to get access to you, reading how to get into your dreams, how to contact you 5 d They've been trying. All right, this is going over a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. But we got here a tower moment that came out. Then we have here the seven of cups and this other card that, look at here, oh my gosh, look at this nine of wands. Mm, what did they do? Uh-oh, whoever this person is, they're miserable because there is something of dark that's over them. They, they mess with something. Look, they have options. They had choices, but they this is someone that made a bad choice. They made some sort of deal, and it may have been consciously or unconsciously, and they're going to get their own tower moment. So it's not just, yep, they're going to get their own tower moment. So it's not just this distorted feminine that's going to have a tower moment. Your person is, well, I don't want to call it your person, but this person that's been um, wanting to get into your dreams, wanting to have access to you, they're haunted. They, because of a choice that they made. And because I feel like because they were messing with something that they should not have messed with. Look at those three figures behind them. Someone, they, I feel like this person is going to be haunted. They have some sort of dark attachments to them. That constantly follows them around. So this person may drink a lot. They may be depressed a lot. Um, there's something this person, there's something about th what this person did that was not good. I don't feel like they have ill will towards you but I feel like they did something that was not good and it's going to come out as well. And they could have did it by being involved with this other person, but something happened. Let's see if we can find out what they did. But they, there's something going on here with who they were dealing with too. We got here the Eight of Wands. What is this person into? They, something was revealed. Something was revealed to this person. There was some sort of information that they got. I feel like, you know what I'm, you know what I'm getting here? I feel like there was something I this person could have tried to do something to you. Let me see. But something was revealed to them about you. What did they try to do to cancers? We got the eight of cups coming through. And then we have here the moon. So it looks like they walked away from this connection with you, with this Eight of Cups. They walked away, but then there was something here that was hidden. What did they do? We got the Page of Swords coming in. I feel like this person got a reading. I'm getting here because they were curious about you. I feel like this person, when you guys w went your separate ways, I feel like this person secretly got some sort of reading on you. We already know they have been stalking you. But something happened. How did this, how did this dark energy get attached to them? Some sort of choice they made. Oh my gosh, now I see it. Thank you. What happened was this person chose to walk away from you. They were given the choice. This is what it is, guys. This person was given the choice of being with you or being with this toxic person. That's what happened. They had a choice. You could be with cancer obviously where your blessings is going to flow as a couple or you could be with this distorted feminine where you're going to be cursed if you do 
this person chose to be with this distorted feminine, but we got the moon. So it looks like there was some sort, and remember we talked about how this person bees with people because of what they stand to gain. I feel like this person was hiding who they really were. And so your person, or this person that wants to be with you rather, um, they chose this person based off of an illusion with the moon card. It was based off of an illusion, what they thought the person was versus who they really were they made a bad choice and they attached themselves to something dark and they're still carrying it and i feel like this person got some sort of information um out they found some sort of information out about you in secrecy i feel like they got a secret reading done they paid for a reading and and they found this out they they were told you had a choice you they were told they had a choice to be with you or be with this dark feminine and they chose the dark feminine and now look at them, miserable, because they're still trying to get to you. And it's like, it's too late now. It's too late. You're, and this is their tower moment. Realizing that they have messed it up with the one that was actually being sent for them. They messed it up. And now here, they're carrying dark energy. So what does it look like you, who are of a high vibration, being with someone that's carrying this dark energy around? They made their bed with this dark person. Now they want to come and run and, you know, uh, be up under your, your energy. Mm, they yep, look, Oh my gosh. Look, oh my gosh. Look at this. Look, this was their choice. This was their choice. That's what I'm saying. You could be with this dark witch or you could be with this empress that controls both the dark and light. Hello. They had a choice and they chose the dark one. Not even realizing that it was all an illusion. There you have it. And that, here's the tower moment. Boom. Now seeing it. You got played. You missed your blessing. Catch you guys later. Bye.